Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can automate your LinkedIn profile content creation and literally make your LinkedIn profile go viral. I use exactly the same strategy to automate my LinkedIn profile and today I have more than 161,000 followers. Every day I get brand deals and companies like MongoDB, they have sponsored my content and I make more than $15,000 per month using my LinkedIn profile from different brand deals. Also, my LinkedIn profile helps me get a lot of customers for my AI training program as well. Here is how you can do it as well using AI agents. If you're new to NATN and building AI agents, I've created a lot of videos on the fundamentals on how you can get started in NATN and you can also start creating AI agents. In the description box, I've added links to some of the fundamental videos that will help you understand what are AI agents, how you can also get started in NATN. And by the way, this is the platform where you can build AI agents or automation with absolutely zero programming or coding knowledge. So you don't need to come from a technical background to build these AI agents. Let's get started. Let's automate your LinkedIn. Let's make you go viral and get brand deals in the future. So this is the AI agent that I have created to automate LinkedIn content creation. This AI agent create one LinkedIn post for me every single day so that I don't have to create it from scratch. But it is just not about creating uh, one LinkedIn content every single day. But this LinkedIn AI agent actually understand how I need to write LinkedIn content that can go viral. So what I've done here is I've created two major components of this AI agent. The first component is basically a rag based system, which is a retrieval augmented generation. Again, if you are not aware of rag based agent, don't worry about it. It's not anything crazy or something where you need like a rocket science knowledge, but a rag based AI agent is an agent that retrieves or that utilizes some of the previous information to create future content. So for this particular rag agent, what I've done here is that I have provided this rag agent with some of the sample posts that have already gone viral in the past. So I picked some of the posts from the top influencers on LinkedIn in my category. So I write on AI, AI agents, large language model, generative AI. So I found influencers on LinkedIn who have already written great content in this particular category and have already got thousands of views or millions of views. So I have copied their posts. So I have, here I've copied about 20, 25 posts over here and added them to a Google sheet. Then I trained this particular agent on all the viral post content so that my AI agent knows on how to write my future post content that has high probability of going viral. Okay, so this is different from when you go to chat GPT and say write a content for me that I can post on my LinkedIn. This particular AI agent is already trained on viral posts. So it already knows how to write every LinkedIn post that goes viral has a certain form of structure. For example, the first two lines need to be a hook line. There need to be a character limit so that both these lines appear and user actually click on see more. During the content or the body part of a LinkedIn post, we need to provide some valuable information, not in lengthy sentences, but in short sentences. At the end, there should be a call to action so that people can comment at the bottom. You may have seen in a lot of posts where people say, hey, comment roadmap to get the AI agentic roadmap, right? So this rag agent is trained on all those things. You don't need to do anything. Okay. So first I've built this rag agent in the very first Google sheet. I have filled this up with some of the viral post in the category where I want to write. Okay. So when you create this AI agent or when you replicate this AI agent, you simply need to identify 20, 25 posts from the top notch influencers in your category and fill this Google sheet. And then I'm creating a vector database or embeddings of this content so that my AI agent gets trained on it. I'm using Pinecone Vector Store. Again, if you're new to NATN, you're new to creating AI agents, I've created a video on what are RAG agents, what is Pinecone Vector Database, what is embedding. All these are very simple things, but you need to watch it once. So I've provided a link in the description box below. Just go to that video, watch it so that you understand what is a RAG agent. But basically, here I've created a RAG agent that is trained on some of the viral posts so that next time I ask this AI agent to write a post, it will write it in a manner so that the post can go viral. Okay, so this is the first component of my AI agent. Now, this is the second component of my AI agent. This AI agent analyzes image that I provide to this agent. And after analyzing that image, it utilizes knowledge that I provided in the RAG agent earlier. And then it finally create a LinkedIn post for me. 
okay? Let me tell you the hack of going viral on LinkedIn. So what I do is, so I go to any of the creators in my category. For example, I follow Riyaz Syed. He writes content on AWS AI agent and I see which of his posts has gone viral. So for example, if you see this post has got about 400 likes, 43 comments, 90 reports. It's really a high value content post. Now I don't want to copy his LinkedIn post content. Otherwise my content will never go viral. So what I do and you should do exactly the same thing. All the top content creators are creating infographics or images like this because they get a lot of traction, okay? Now, if I want to replicate this image or replicate this content and want to create a viral content, I will first save this image as JPG in my laptop, okay? Then I'll go to my AI agent and I'll upload this image like this and I'll click on submit. And after clicking submit, now my AI agent is analyzing content that was given on this image and it will utilize the knowledge that I provided to this RAG agent on how to write a viral content related to the content that I provided on this image. And as you can see, the AI agent was working. It is utilizing the OpenAI chat model. It is utilizing the vector store. Okay, so the vector store is nothing but the embeddings that we created over here in the Pinecone vector database and it is utilizing that knowledge over here to create the structure of the post, to create the entire post and eventually saving it in my Google Sheet. And if I go to my Google Sheet over here under post, you will see that it has created the entire LinkedIn content for me on today, October 29th. And when I double click on it, you will be able to see the entire content, which is like want to build the confidence as a cloud engineer in 30 days, start with this mental map of AWS structure. It has exactly written the content that goes viral. None of them is a longer content post. At the end, it has also added this little strategy to learn AWS and cloud engineering, follow these people. This is one of the strategy to go viral on LinkedIn. Tag people who are already big influencers on your LinkedIn post. They would love it. They will like your content. And I've already in the RAG agent, which I created over here, I already trained on this RAG agent or the RAG agent already learned from all those viral posts that people who go viral, they add this section in the LinkedIn post. They write content which is not longer sentences but one line or punchy sentences the first two lines are hook lines it is exactly done the same way and at the end it also add a call to action like check out resources and comments or please repost or share and at the end our rag agent also learn that if you want to stay updated on aws and cloud engine, join my newsletter so it has also given a newsletter link or whichever community link whatsapp whatever you want to provide now Finally, it has also added the tags at the end, which is really, really amazing. So this is an end-to-end ready-to-go post that you can simply copy, go to your LinkedIn account, paste it, and go viral. Now, this same exact strategy that I use utilizing this AI agent to go viral on LinkedIn, and I've done it so many times, it has worked absolutely amazing for me. I would highly recommend you to utilize this exact same AI agent to go viral on LinkedIn. Let me explain you all the components on it, how data is flowing so that you can replicate and use it for yourself as well. In this video, I'm going to explain you a high level overview of how you can build this AI agent, use it for yourself. But building an AI agent requires a lot of small level of details. So if you want all those finer details on how you can build AI agents in N10, particularly this AI agent, and if you want all the prompts that we have used in this AI agent JSON template, make sure to join our school community. I've given the link in the description below. Join our school community. We provide you a lot of amazing tutorials uh, as well as we provide you a lot of amazing tutorials on AI tools and AI agents over there. We take a lot of questions over there. So make sure to join it and we'll provide you all the amazing information. You can also let me know in the comments below if you need any kind of help. Simply write prompt if you need a prompt for this uh, AI agent. If you need the JSON file, simply write JSON. Or if you have any other question, feel free to write it and I'll provide you all the help that you need. Let's automate your LinkedIn.
let's jump into this AI agent. So the first part is building a RAG agent that has the knowledge of all the viral posts that understand what type of post you need to create. So the first component here is clicking the execute workflow. So you can simply add this component by clicking this plus thing and just search for execute workflow. The second component, we are adding simply a Google Sheet over here. So you can simply click on this plus icon, search for Google Sheet over here, select this one. In this particular note, first of all, add your Google account over here. Once you add your Google account, you'll be able to see all the Google Sheets that you have created in this Google account. So simply create a Google Sheet in your Google Drive. The name of the Google Sheet will appear over here. The name of the Google Sheet tab will appear over here, okay? That's all you need to do in this particular Google Sheet. The next one is, now in this Google Sheet, simply add 10 to 15 LinkedIn posts of influencers in your category, simply copy paste their post come back to this ai agent now if you have added 15 to 20 posts over here not all the posts can directly go into pine cone vector database so we'll add a loop node over here loop node will make each and every post go one by one into the pine cone vector database now here add a pine cone vector store simply click on this plus button search for pine cone select this one Double click on this particular node here in this node you need to integrate your pine cone vector account first Again, if you're new to N10, if you have not built a RAG agent before, check video that I've provided in the description below. There I've explained what is Pinecone Vector Database, how you can integrate it, how you can create indices over there, and it is very simple, okay? But think of it as right now that it is a knowledge base where we are providing all the sample LinkedIn post in a vector embedding format. Okay, it actually help AI agent to do a better search. It help AI agent to search, understand the pattern of any uh, content or any information that we have provided in our RAG agent or in the Pinecone Vector database. So I've connected my Pinecone Vector account over here and simply I've selected the indices that I've created. So let me show you. So this is my Pinecone Vector account. You can simply go to Pinecone website, create your account and here I have created an index over here. So if you're starting for the very first time, click on this create index button and you need to create an index for the first time. When Once you create an index, that will appear over here. I've named it as LinkedIn. So whatever index that you create in Pinecone, you will be able to see that index over here. Simply select your index and over here, you need to add an embedding model to it. So I've added an OpenAI embedding model. You need to add a default data loader because we are loading this data into the Pinecone Vector database. So simply add a default data loader. You can simply add it by searching for data loader and you'll get this option over here. Now to every data loader, we need to add a text splitter. So we are adding a recursive text splitter. Now simply understand what is a text splitter. So we are providing a lot of content, but not all content can directly go into Pinecone Vector Store. So we need to divide that content into smaller chunks. This text splitter divide the entire text content is into smaller chunks. Okay, so that that content can go into Pinecone Vector Database. Once you do that, simply execute it. And once this is executed, you will be able to see in your Pinecone Vector Database, the index that you have created. So I created a LinkedIn index. You'll be able to see all the information that you provided in the Google Sheet that is stored in the embedding vector format over here. Once you see these embeddings over here, that means you have successfully uploaded your Pinecone Vector Store with the information that you provided in the Google Sheet, which was viral sample LinkedIn post from other influencers. Okay. Now my vector store has all the information of the post that can go viral. Now my second component, which is where I provide a sample image of one of my influencer, it analyzes that image and write a content for me and save it in this Google sheet. So the components that I've added over here, simply add a form submission because we upload an image over here. You can simply add it by clicking on this plus button, search for form submission and you'll get it. Second, we are adding a chat GPT model to add analyze image node, simply search for OpenAI, click on this and select analyze image. In this particular node, simply add your OpenAI account over here, select GPT-40 model and give it a text input. Basically, we are simply saying it that analyze this image in detail for creating a LinkedIn post, provide all information present in the image with the correct visual info given all the information present in the image, provide all the text present in the image as it is without any modification in a well-structured format. So we are simply giving it a guideline on how to analyze image and what content it need to create. 
The next node that we add over here is we are now simply adding an AI agent. Okay. So simply add an AI agent over here. We are giving it an OpenAI chat model as a brain over here. We are giving it access to the vector store so that it can access all the embeddings that we created over here. So we are simply adding a pine cone vector store over here. Every time we add a vector store, we need to make sure that we provide it a brain, which is an embedding OpenAI model, right? So you can simply add it by clicking on this plus button, search for embedding model and select this option. In this particular node, you don't need to make any configuration, just simply integrate or add your OpenAI account. Okay. Again, if you do not know how to add an OpenAI account, I've created a separate video. The link is given in the description below. Watch that video and you'll learn how you can add your OpenAI account. So our vector store is added. In this vector store, simply again, add your Pinecone account over here so that it can pull all that information select the index that we have created and provide little bit of guideline over here. So I've provided it a guideline that retrieve viral LinkedIn posts from Pinecone vector store that are similar to the current topic. Use this to understand successful post pattern, writing style, formatting and engagement technique. Query with specific topics. Okay. So I provide some of the guidelines to this vector store. Now the finally we need output in a very structured fashion so that we can get our LinkedIn post in the right manner. So we are adding a structured output parser over here and we are simply saying it that, hey, provide me output in this particular format. Again, if you need all this small, small coding part, okay, just let me know in my school community or comment below and I will provide you all that information. Okay. Again, this is all very simple. Now, our AI agent has analyzed the image, provided that information to my AI agent. My AI agent has now written a LinkedIn post. If you see the output over here, it has given me the LinkedIn post content. But again, this LinkedIn post content is not in the best format. When I say format, I need first two lines in the hook format. I need all the hashtags. I need a call to action asking people to check the resources. I want the information in the manner that it can go viral. So I'm adding another AI agent over here and naming it as correct the structure. To add this particular node, simply click on this plus icon, search for AI agent, select this particular option. And to this particular AI agent, again, I'm giving it an open AI chat model and I am giving it access to the rows of the sheet where I have provided all the viral content. Okay, the previous one, get rows in the sheet, this one. I'm giving it access and I'm giving it an access to structured output parser. And in this particular node, I've made a few configuration changes. First, I'm giving it output of the previous node, which is the LinkedIn post that it has written. Okay. So I'm giving that as a user prompt and under a system prompt, I'm giving it some of the guidelines. Here I'm giving it some of the instructions and structure of the LinkedIn post will be same just to change the people name, pick people name from the Google sheet, randomly add five people name, add hashtags at the end, and structure of the LinkedIn post must be the same, right? So I'm providing some of the guideline. And here I'm also giving it a sample LinkedIn post that here is the way on how you need to create a LinkedIn post, add a few people to follow, ask them to join my WhatsApp group, add a few hashtags, and I'm asking to check them the resource in the comments below, okay? So here I'm giving a system prompt on how you need to finally structure this LinkedIn content. Now after this, I'm simply giving access to a Google Sheet over here. So in this Google Sheet, we get a final LinkedIn post and it has been added over here. So you simply need to add your Google Sheet account, select the Google Sheet that we created, select the tab that we created for the final LinkedIn post and that's it. And we are mapping two columns that we want to add post in the column name LinkedIn post and we want to add today's date. So you'll be able to see that in this Google Sheet, we had the first tab as a sample post where we added all the sample posts. And the second tab is the post where final posts are getting saved. So this post is getting saved over here and the date is coming over here. So utilizing this agent, I have achieved 161,000 followers on my LinkedIn profile and I have been creating LinkedIn content that is going viral, getting me thousands of views, a lot of brand deals, a lot of potential customers for my AI training program. I would highly recommend you to use the exact same format. Let me know in the comments below if you have any question, if you need explanation with any specific segment. Again, make sure to join my school community that's in the description below join it, ask me for any resources, any questions over there and make sure to like this video, subscribe to this channel and let me know what you want to learn next in AI. Thank you.